Hi, everybody. It is March 17th, Wednesday. I uh, just wanted to wish everybody a happy St. Patrick's Day. Um, well, I have a lot of friends um, in Ireland, and uh, I'm sending best wishes to them. Um, Sean McGinney and Adele and all the kids, you know, you guys are always in my heart and my thoughts. So happy St. Patty's Day. Um, I feel kind of close to Ireland because my wife's got a chunk of Irish in her because her maiden name was Maureen Gay McGillan. <laughs> so it doesn't get much more Irish than that. Um, and then I had to throw a sklar in there. But, uh, you know, you know, name's a name. Okay, let's see. We did Peter Asher's show last night, which was really fun. It was so good to see Peter again and and relive these moments that he goes through in his show. Uh, it's it's an astounding little life retrospect that he does, and his experiences, um, number one, beyond the fact that they're incredibly profound in the music industry from the mid-60s on uh, to this day and into the future, because he's still working all the time. Um, but just his his way of presenting his his history um, through pictures and video and music is really astounding. So Jeff Allen Ross played uh, sang background, played keyboards, played guitar. He's the ultimate utility guy, that's for sure. And uh, and he was a member of Badfinger, so we did a Badfinger tune in the show too. Um, and myself, um, it, it's just it's really something special, and I, I really get a thrill every time Peter calls and says, can you do one of my shows with me? Um, and it worked out fine. And we kept our distance from the people. It was a private function. Um, so um, there was no streaming or anything like that going on with this. But um, but it was great. And uh, just it was uh, um, the, the last time I think we did this was a year ago. And everything's been shut down since then. <clears throat> so it was nice to actually sit and play for an audience. Um, not sure when the next time will be. It's, uh, it's all still, uh, this world is a work in progress at this point, and we'll just see what the future holds. But um, off with the glasses because I have information for you. Uh, first off, uh, today's the Clubhouse live stream. I'm going to go in a little early just for some people that are in, in different time zones. I, I kind of got it backwards. I was doing it mainly for the people like in the UK and stuff, but it's actually earlier for them. So it works out actually really good for them when their clocks change in about a week or two. It's about a week, I guess. Um, then uh, then we'll be back on, on a similar schedule, but I was trying to accommodate them and kind of counted backwards on it. But whatever, I'll, I'll be there. And uh, whoever shows up early, uh, we'll hang out. And then whoever comes in at the three o'clock normal downbeat, um, we'll be there. So I invite anybody who's uh, maybe wants to check this all out. You go to uh, on all my videos. There's a link in the, in those that you can go down to that'll take you either to my website or to the clubhouse. And uh, and there's goodies on both of them. But the uh, clubhouse uh, live stream is on the uh, uh, flat five clubhouse uh, link. So that's that. Um, kind of in, uh, in honor of uh, being St. Patrick's Day, I thought I would go and visit one of the Irish artists that I've worked with. And this was a while back. I tried to get a few of the songs, and for some reason I could only pull up one of them that we did together, but I'll play that for you. But I should just bind all of these things I do and just make a little book called Copious Notes because <laughs> that's what all this stuff is. It's unbelievable. But I really want to pay respect to everybody involved with the th these things and give you what information I can. And then if you choose to look deeper, then um, that's cool. So th the artist's name is Fergal Sharkey. F-E-A-R-G-A-L is his first name. And Sharkey, S-H-A-R-K-E-Y. Uh, this is an album called Wish that we did back in 1988. And lo and behold, Cooch produced it, Danny Korchmar. Um, Fergal is from Northern Ireland, 
But uh, let's see, he was the singer for the punk band The Undertones in the 70s and the 80s, a lead singer for them. Um, and he had a single called A Good Heart back in, was it 85, that actually had quite a bit of international success. But um, in, in the 90s, he changed course and went into the business side of the record business. Um, and he was, uh, he was in, very involved with the, the uh, government over there in terms of protecting and promoting um, rights in music and all kinds of things. I mean, he was an incredible activist through all of this. And he was eventually awarded the OBE, which Peter Asher also received this. I mean, a, lot, a number of people, I think McCartney's got it and, and stuff. And um, it's the officer of the order of the British Empire. Uh, and it's for services in music. And he received it in 2019. Um, he, and I, I found this interesting. He was all, he's also a very avid fisherman and he's campaigned heavily against pollution of the British rivers and regulations of the water industry. So this is a guy that went deep after his punk period and, uh, and kind of transitioned punk pop um, before going before the 90s and, uh, and going into like governmental service and activism. And I really, I think that's incredible for him. That's, you know, it, 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 it's great when, when guys can you know, have a passion about the things that they love and then they can move on with their career into another place. Um, so the, uh, the song I'm going to do right now, I wanted to do um, a song called Let Me Be, but I cannot find it on YouTube for some reason. It comes up, the title of it comes up, and every time I click on it, um, other things come up. It's not that, but the, uh, the song I'm going to do is Strangest Girl in Paradise from this album. And it's a, it's a great assortment of, of musicians on this. We had the incredible Steve Jordan on drums and Russ Kunkel playing percussion on it. Um, Maggie Lee was playing synth and David Page uh, is playing synth on it. Uh, the guitarists on this are uh, Waddy and Cooch. I mean, it's great. I mean, you know, this is what I love. I mean, we're looking back at this 1988 and that's kind of midstream in our careers and all that. And there I am with Russ and Waddy and Cooch, just like the immediate family at this point. I mean, our, the consistency that we've had throughout our careers is really pretty astounding. Um, Anthony Davies is playing cello on this, and the background vocals on this were Anthony Davies and Arnold McCuller and David Lasley. There's James Taylor's background singers. I mean, it's, it's really amazing to me how these things um, end up just having these links that were all so deeply you know, kind of interwoven with each other. And uh, I love it. I just love it. I love the fact that that when I'm on stage now, when we are on stage, again, with the immediate family, I'm looking at guys on stage that I've been playing with for over the half a century. And, uh, and we love each other, and we love playing together, and we love entertaining. So I feel really so fortunate that that this is the path that my life has ended up uh, going. And uh, I would never complain about this for one second. Um, I, you know, anybody that's doing this kind of a job that has any complaints really should get their head examined because this is such a gift to have this gig. So, um, so I'm gonna wish everybody happy St. Patty's Day. And um, I'm going to play um, The Strangest Girl in Paradise, and then I'm going to go take care of a bunch of things. I have a bunch of book orders and t-shirt orders that I've got to fulfill. I'm going to take care of that. And then I'm going to uh, set up and prep for my live stream this afternoon. So I'm kind of excited. Nice, nice full day going. There's a few things going on that uh, are looking like book opportunities for um, potentially for Europe now. Um, I got two things in, in, in cooking, and we'll see how those turn out. And um, and then we're sorting out getting books to Japan. So, you know, this is this is this is going to be a long term. I'm in this for the long run, the long haul. <clears throat> and one of the PO is funny. One of the people in my book is the actress Jane Seymour, 
who came to one of Phil Collins's gigs on the last tour, and she totally w was into it when I said, "Come on, you got to give me the finger," and she just, you know, just gave me a great finger. Well, she she was with a group of people, and one of the people was there at the gig last night, and we were we started talking. And he said, "Yeah, I met you with with Jane at the at the Phil Collins gig." I said, "Well, you know." Um, I did a book, and she's in the book. So he was tickled with that. Maybe he'll, he'll plant it in her ear to grab one that she can show off to her friends and go, look what the hell I did. We'll see. We'll see what happens with that. But um, I'm looking around. The boys just had their breakfast, but I have a feeling they're cacked out somewhere in the backyard. And usually by now they would be out barking out here at, at, at a blade of grass that maybe had an ant on it yesterday. I don't know. I don't know what those knuckleheads. But, um, and maybe I'll get them into the uh, live stream towards the end. I'll have them come in and visit. Because I fixed the door from last time, so they couldn't just bust the door in and, and jump all over the place. And they'll be invited in this time. So we'll do that. But here's Strangest Girl in Paradise. Hold on. Fergal Sharky. Credit for sex.
What a great pocket. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so, happy Paddy's Day, St. Paddy's Day. It's a, it's a lovely celebration. I know there's rivers being dyed green and all kinds of things going on. I'm not sure how gatherings are going uh, as far as uh, safety. Yeah, I'm not even going to think about that right now. I'm just going to wish everybody happy St. Paddy's Day. Um, and thank you, Fergal. It was really fun playing with you. I think we did a, a, a show with him, uh, with James Taylor. It might have been in Germany, Berlin or someplace like that. Uh, where, yeah, it was really great. It was a good, great hang. It was really great. Um, but uh, my, my best wishes to everybody in Ireland. And uh, I'll see uh, um, Michael Weiss will be uh, on the... Uh, live stream today and he's uh, he lives in Ireland so it'd be nice to see him again uh, even if it's just virtually on a chat window but uh, so I'm gonna get going I'm gonna take care of my business crap that I've got to do before uh, I go and set up for the live stream and uh, and I'm gonna wish everybody who's not making the live stream a great day and uh, we'll see you tomorrow I'll be back tomorrow with something else I'll look for another holiday and see, and see with who I've worked with on that day so We'll see. Okie dokie. I'll talk to you later then. Bye-bye.